Man, you come right out of a comic book. Pulp to Pixel Media. Exploring the media multiverse of geek culture. You meddled in things and you leave the local. Hey, it's Dr. G, the man of nerdology here, and I'd like to welcome you to uh, the first episode of Dial G for Gamer, a Pulp to Pixel video series. Uh, today, I am moving Dial G from Gamer beyond its original roots as a podcast, so those of you who are aware of this, you've probably heard these, but if not, you can check those out at pulptopixel.com. Uh, where you can find back episodes of Dial G for Gamer. And where Di- in Dial G for Gamer, we explore the media multiverse of geek culture in regards to superhero gaming and gaming in general, mainly tabletop and role playing games. Now, today I am jumping into our latest uh, superhero role playing game that is one of my favorites and one I haven't talked on the podcast, but. I thought would be more apropos in video, and that was DC Universe Online. Now, I've been playing this for years on on PC and console, uh, but uh, mainly playing it now on PlayStation 4. Um, So, I have, for this channel and going forward, I'm going to be playing different games, a lot of free-to-play games and a few games I already own uh, on this channel, and posting videos of those. So please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Uh, Leave a comment if possible, but definitely hit that like button so other people can find this as well. And uh, you can follow me on, on Instagram and all the others. So let's get into this. So in true RPG nerd fashion, I decided to create a superhero with random character generation. Now, I'm a big fan of um, the Marvel Superheroes face rip game. And while I did also like the DC Megs game, the uh, Mayfair game, and a number of the other DC uh, system iterations that would come out since then, I really feel that this is um, the face rip and the Marvel superheroes random character generation was one of my favorites. It was, it always gives you this sort of weird combination. So I decided to apply this to uh, my character I'm going to play on this channel. And I, I have since the account, the free account allows you to play two characters. I will make two characters. So check out future videos for those. But there will be a uh, a heroic character and a uh, villainous character, so we can play through both of the storylines. Uh, so you'll watch me play through those. Now, um, let's talk about what I'm doing here. So you, you'll see from the split screen here, I have a random character generator that I've created. Um, this is hand done. I think I'll eventually maybe type this up and uh, make this downloadable. Um, possibly something will see in future posts as well um i do want to start creating material and uh so here we've got um i've basically built out random roles for all of the choices the only one is not is the one where you have custom or inspired by i skipped the inspired by and went by just custom so this is a so it should generate in essence a perfectly random character or random character not perfectly random anyway all right so let's get started so First one is the the role for gender, so we're looking at uh, female to male, and it's a D4. So, oops, got my handy D4, and I rolled a one. So I got a one, and so that's female character. All right, now we've got a, a uh, body type. So body types are next on our list. And you can see that, got that out. It's so that D4 and D6. Oops. All right, so that's three. So that's spry short. All right. Select so text body type. type. Create a custom configuration or imprint using data from an earth hero or villain. Alright, so custom. 
Select a hero or villain. So hero or villain? One oh villain. Alright. Select a personality to determine social behavior. Alright, personality here. So it's a D6 roll. Powerful, so that's three. Three. Um Alright, so mentor. Where's my mentor one? Oh, I'm missing my mentor list. Ah, uh, so this is a D6 roll. Oh, I must have mixed something up. Well, there's a. <laughs> you can see my older one here. This is this is definitely uh, uh, hacking your game systems up. So uh, one to two. Ma magic, three to four meta, and uh, five to six tech, one magic. So I will uh, definitely want to go back and do that. Like that. Select power group from available exobiome data to determine combat. Mode. All right, all right. So these are fixed, however. <laughs> so this is not a problem. Okay, so let's check. Now I did. While I, this is the free version I'm playing, and I'm not planning to spend any money on this, I did open spend initially some to make sure to have the full selection of powers and the full selection of uh, movement types, so that it would be able to play all the parts of the game um, with at least all of the character build options. Okay, so personality, uh, we did power. Oh, sorry, select power. So powers up here. So that's so that is. D6 and D10. So, four, uh, 15. Atomic. Oh. Now that's cool. I've not had that power very often. So. Select movement mode. Oh, it's kind of like, I don't know, almost like a mystical atom. Alright, and then let's do movement mode. So that was a D6. Uh, six skimming. Oh, I actually atomic and skimming and little. Select weapons All right. to choose from available data. Okay, let's see. Um, let's do uh, weapon. Oh, so that's D4 and D8. So that I got a one and a two, so three, uh, so three staff. Display excellent summary. Appearance options now available. Modify any category as desired. Accept download when ready. Okay, so, um, so I, I have a kind of a randomly char generated character here, but like. She's part of the magic track, which means she'll start off fighting mystical threats. Um, but she's got like atomic and a staff and hmm, I'm trying to think of who I could play this character. Because, you know, I see all of those other things, and I think, actually, I'm going to go back. All right, so, as always, you should always play Rule Zero when you're playing your role-playing games. And with Rule Zero, I'm going to go with Meta. Select power group from available so meta. to determine... So I, I gave myself one do over. Select weapon specialty from available data. Oh, snap. Display exabyte download summary. Appearance option available. Modify any category as desired. Accept right. download when ready. So, uh, that is. The, the first part, so I'm going to go through. 
Uh, so probably montage this part into uh, a bit of a speed drawing to build it, but uh, here we go. All right, so let's start with. So here we're gonna go through, and this is my character creation. Um, so I did switch the character halfway through. Um, originally I wanted to have a very tech-based character, so I went with robotics as the the robot as the, like the base form. Um, but as I kind of like played through this, um, I definitely wanted to try. Um, so I had a character that I created a long time ago for uh, an art project I was kind of working on at the time that never really kind of finished. So this is kind of me coming back to it. But um, I created a character who was kind of based on a friend of mine who was quite short and was a uh, sort of atomic pa based powerhouse sort of like a character. But this sort of like squat, kind of like Al Pratt of the, uh, the uh, Adam from uh, the Golden Age and uh, the JSA. So I'm kind of going a little for that design, but um, originally I went for robot uh, cause I thought like micronauts. So I was thinking some sort of like being potentially mechanical or some other thing from uh, a microverse as an origin for her, in, at least in this context and this setup. Um, so I'm kind of going for this sort of like Kirby-esque tech sort of a vibe, but I want a lot of like um, showing the inhuman nature. So like that's why I'm going with sleeveless and, and legless uh, uh, costume pieces. Um, definitely picking a very like what I felt was a very 90s, 80s and 90s like pastel um, and like highlighter sort of esque color scheme. Uh, made me think Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles every time I thought of it, so, or like different types of mecha from uh, Robotech, so that was why those colors and it's kind of coming together but I'm not really liking the uh, form, so I played around a bit and decided to go with here uh, the crystalline form I like it uh, kind of give the impression that it's sort of made of radioactive material. Uh, even taking off a lot of the, uh, the additional parts I had added so that it's showing off that color. And that color, it's with that color scheme, also makes me think a lot of like Rogue Trooper from 2000 AD, which is one of my favorite characters come out of that series. Uh, you know, of course. Yeah, All right. Looks like, and uh, let's just get her name. And there we go. All right, so there, this is the final character, Atomica, Origin Meta, uh, Alignment Evil, Powers Atomic, Weapon Staff, Movement Skimming. So she's, uh, we'll get a little more into her backstory and her origins in the next episode. So please come back, stay tuned. Um, in fact, hit the uh, subscribe and the notification button to uh, get notified and to see the next episode next week on this channel. Um, I will be playing this online through the PlayStation 4 network, so you can meet me there at Man of Nerdology. So it's man underscore of underscore nerdology. Uh, and if you, at some point, we'll be looking at things like stuff on Twitch and uh, others. So thanks again for watching. Uh, make sure to follow us on other social medias, and we'll see you next week.